it's good to have a friend, but it's a blessing to have a faithful friend. Jesus, you are the faithful friend I have in the intimate part of my heart. It's good to have a friend, but it's a blessing to have a faithful friend. Jesus, you are the faithful friend I have in the intimate part of my heart. Hello everybody. Oh, I'm happy again seeing you together waiting for a wonderful TV show. Let's speak English for learning. Okay, you know that we are used to learning. I'm used to teaching you. And when I teach you, you say thank you, Mr. Mai. Thank you. Thank you. You you do, you often do a, a great job. Thank you very much for congratulating me. God bless you. You encourage me. That's the reason why I keep on doing what I'm doing. I keep on doing what I often do. Okay? And I have to bring you the message of hope. Okay? We know that for the time being the situation is difficult, you know, but don't despair. Okay? Don't despair. You have to think over. You have to work. Okay? Don't become colonas stealing people. Okay? Or stealing things. I mean, not yours okay you steal some some money which is not the of something which is not yours it is seen before god we have to know how to behave yeah before god we are going to progress we are going to, to go ahead the reason why as we on up tv we have to bring the message of hope okay you have to be hopeful don't despair god will bless you and you'd better know that your tomorrow must be greater than today okay but there is a preparation Today is the future. The future becomes today. You have to work, you have to study, you have to, okay, to do what can be good for you to do for succeeding in, in your future life, okay? And today I'm not alone. I receive Mom Gloria Luamba, okay? We're going to speak about Kinbopeto and environment. Oh, it's a good topic, okay? You know, your way of behaving sometimes is, is not good, okay? You can have your trash or your, your garbage. You take your trash, you go to, to throw in the gutter, okay? And tomorrow, when it will be raining, you'll be flooded, okay? It's not important. And crying, the government come to help us. No, you have to change your behavior, okay? I present Mom Gloria. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, sir. And you? Yes, I'm all right. Uh, can you present yourself again? Okay. So, my name is Gloria Luamba. I am an entrepreneur. I work in the environment sector. I own NGO, non-governmental association and a communication firm called Phoenix Communication and Saga Africa Magazine. All right. It's nice. And why do you choose to work in the environment sector? Because the environment sector, we shall say the truth, is the only sector that really reunites really people. You can be a footballer, a musician, a politician from the majority or for the position. You need a clean environment for you to work. So it's a peaceful sector and it's a priority in people's daily life. This is why I choose to work in the environment sector and also because it's a passion. Okay, yes. you need to clean your environment. Okay, this is also the way of having the, the, the breath of life, okay? For breathing a good oxygen. If you live in a bad environment, it, it will not be good for your health. You will not be good health, okay? But mom, the job, you, the job you've chosen yes. here in Como and Kinshasa precisely, even the state of mind, people's state of mind here, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't you see that it will be a hard work for you? I need to admit that this is a hard work because the concept of recycling trash, it isn't known by people. People don't really know what can plastic bottle create. Like they don't know that with plastic bottle you can have a job, you can create your own job. This is why it's one of the most um, priority of our work. We are doing a lot of sensibilization. We are going in markets, talking to people, you know, for people to learn, to know what can plastic bottle trash can bring them and can resolve their problems. 
All right. And what do you think about Kimbo Peto? Kimbo Peto. Kimbo Peto is a concept. And first of all, I need to be positive and optimist and say that it's good to have this kind of initiative. It's really, really good. Because, you know, with Kimbo Peto, today we are seeing, like, in uh, uh, peoples are opening um, their bars, like uh, nightclubs, late. So they are giving times to people, like to children, to, to, to read, to write, and those kinds of and to, to study. But the problem is that Kimbo Peto is managed by people who don't really know um, the concept of recycling trash. This is why we are seeing people, we are seeing youth on roads, brushing, uh, you know, doing those kind of things. But this is not the real concept of cleaning the environment. It asks a lot of things. It asks a technique. It asks to associate this, themselves with people who, you know, who have skills of recycling trash. So yes, the concept is okay, but the problem is people who are doing that. They are not really experimented. And uh, you know, the truth also, let us say the truth, the truth is that they, um, they work maybe because they are paid and you know, they need to, to associate themselves with people who work in goals like us, you know, and then I think uh, the concept can be a success. You say they're doing the, uh, this job, okay? I mean, so for the sake of doing, they have to, to contact someone like you, okay? Yes. And how can they join you? Because sometimes they are doing without knowing how to seek, how to look for someone who can help, okay? How can they join you? Um, we have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter account, and we have a lot of articles in Google. We have a Gmail, and uh, we also text them, we write to them. But the problem is not even how they can join us. The problem is how they can answer when we talk to them. This is a good question. Okay, and yes. how can people feel the impact of Kinbo um, if people want to feel the impact of Kimbo Peto, first of all, those who are managing Kimbo Peto shall know that Kinshasa is a big city. There is a lot of people. If you need people around you to feel the impact of what you guys are doing, they need to associate themselves, as I was saying, with other people, to have a lot of people working. When there will be a lot of people working, then the majority of the population can feel the impact. Okay. You say when there will be a lot of people working, don't you know that's here in our country? I don't know the kind of work you're speaking about because here in our country there's no job. We're struggling for having a job. Difficult. You can see someone studying, okay, mm -hmm. after completing university, he goes to beg a job, you know, like your rights, CV, and so on for begging. Okay, mm -hmm. are, are, are there some strategies of showing people how to create or becoming an entrepreneur? Yes, um, I need to say something is that the new generation of innovators, uh, our NGO aims to promote innovations. Okay, so for me, I always tell youth to not write a curriculum vitae, no, to create their own jobs. But if they need to create their own jobs, they need innovations. There is a lot of people outside there who are smart, who know how to create things, but they don't have support. And this is a big problem of our governments. And I really hope that things can change now. You know, what I will give them as an advice is, is they need to like um, go in, so in different associations to learn, to get skills, like to, to have formations, and to go in entrepreneurship, but not uh, on like curriculum vitae and those kind of things. But it's clear here, before creating, we have to have money, we have to have the funding, okay, something to, to, to start the, the, the business or the, the work. Yes. How can we start without money? Um, you know, I'm even ashamed of answering to this question because it's a difficult question. And in these questions, I must say the truth. The truth is that banks, 
banks outside there don't give credit to you. They ask for things like give a house, give a car, give something for there to give you money. But let me just ask a question. A youth who is coming from a university don't have that kind of money, don't have a house to give. So yes, it's difficult to have money to go in entrepreneurship. But if you put in your head that because of money I will not work, that means you will never work. You need to stand up, work, and at the good time, money will come to you. Thank you very much, Get Gloria. You Thank know, you. even the Bible says the great gift I've given to a human being is the activity. And the Bible says again, a man will eat by the sweat of his brow, the sweat of his forehead. Okay? You have to work, you have to do something. Never mind, even if they don't give credits. Mom Gloria had just spoken about banks and so on. Okay? You have to start. We know even with 5,000 Congolese francs, you have to start a business. Okay? The problem is what in Congo we are really bust for. Saying it's not my level, it's not my job, I can never do it, I cannot do it. Okay? We know people, they have started like this in the beginning, selling things, even on the streets, but today they are big bosses. Okay? Don't fold your homes without nothing to do. The reason why we're here together with Mom Gloria, and Mom Gloria, what will be the, the remedy? The remedy for it, for overcoming to that situation? I think the remedy is people's mentality. People must change the way of seeing things, their state of mind. They must be world changers. They must be leaders. They must be entrepreneurship. You know, if they change their way of thinking, I think uh, they can destroy every walls. They can go higher, higher if they really change their their minds. The remedy, the real remedy, to fight against the poverty is to change the mind. Because let me just tell you something: is that. Um, People don't know, but when I start entrepreneurial, I start what, with uh, 1,005 friends. So it's minus one, minus one dollar, you know. But I was passionate. I wanted it. Because I wanted it, I go for it. I didn't even see money. You know, the state of mind is really something. Is really something. If you want to succeed in life, not just in entrepreneurial, you need to change the way you see life. You have to change the way to see the way your way of seeing the life, observing this life. Okay, mom <laughs> says you have to be a leader. You have to be a leader, and I, I, I want to know. I'd like to know. Who is really a leader? Because sometimes they don't understand a leader, a leader. Who is a leader? Thank you for the questions. Um, first of all, I would like to send some greetings to my pastor. Uh, the last time I've been part of his training on leadership, um, Pastor Esperance Mbakadi uh, from the Mangembo Church, he says something. He says um, uh, leading is also the capacity of creating others' leader. When you are leading people, your first work is to bring them to become leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We also see a good leader on his ability when he's absent to create leaders who can replace him. A leader is someone who knows how to manage people who have a vis vision, who is positive, and who have an objective, who teach by example, and yes, this is a leader. No way to say, okay, this is a good answer. Thank you. Okay, a leader. A leader is the one who inspires. A leader is the one who is capable to change things, creating other leaders. Mom, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay? You're welcome. Okay. He's cleaning environments. Yes. The priority in our society. Yes. 
it's a priority mm -hmm. because we need to say something uh, just take the case of Ebola it's because there is a lot of dirtiness around a lot of sickness in Africa is because uh, you know places are dirty the water here plastic butter over there and no one is managing to clean it if we need our child to grow with a good health we need to clean the environment if we need our child to go in school today we are talking about uh, free schools we need a clean environment I, I don't think that a child who is sick will have the ability to go in school I don't really think that we are talking about entrepreneurship the president say that he, he will promote entrepreneurship in Congo but the truth is that if the environment is not clean who will work no one Yes, and let me just give an example. When Ebola, they, 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 they didn't find the, the solution for Ebola. No one wanted to come in Congo. So, yes, I think uh, it's a priority to clean the environment in Congo. Congo is a big country with a lot, a lot of mineral. But people don't want to come in Congo because of war, because of war and also because of Ebola. Now, we can understand that cleaning the environment is important for each one of us uh -huh. and for the development of Congo. Okay, I've taken something when you were speaking about entrepreneurship, right? Yes. Who is an entrepreneur? And another one, what the difference between an entrepreneur and a coach? An entrepreneur is someone who produces and sells what he produces. An entrepreneur, he is uh, really different with a coach. Because an entrepreneur need to know every level of what he is doing. It at, he is at the same time um, uh, managing people. He is in the HR. He is in money. He is every place. An entrepreneur is different with a coach because a coach don't sell concrete things. No, a coach he is like a leader. Okay, you can be a leader and not being an entrepreneur. So yes, the good and the, the, the simple way to, 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 to know the difference between an entrepreneur and a coach is that an entrepreneur produce and sell. A coach don't sell. A coach lead. Thank you very much. A coach Thank you. doesn't sell. A coach leads. Okay? But mom, sometimes we're crying. This country is bad. This country will never change. Okay? Yeah. Our town, I mean, Kinshasa town is not proper, it's not clean, it's yeah. really dirty. But you, you can see this kind of person before even his compound is brought, before the gate, for cleaning yourself. This is your gate, this is your compound. For cleaning, you are unable to clean even before, before the gate. Yeah. But you're crying, this country is really dirty. Okay? Uh -huh. What can you tell this kind of uh, person? Because once you clean, I clean before my gates. Yeah. I clean before my compounds. Mm -hmm. My neighbor does the same. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think this town will be proper, will be really clean, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what can you tell this, or a piece of advice can you give to these persons? Yeah, first of all, they need to know that Congo is not uh, others' country. Congo is also your country. When they are doing those kind of things, they need to say to themselves that uh, they are not doing do things for the Congo of Lumumba, for the Congo of Mzee Laurent Desire Kabila, but for their Congo, for the Congo of their child. So um, they shall learn something is that, um, something in French say that you can't build Roma in one day. No. So they need to act because most of them, when you understand them speaking, they say, it's not me who's going to change this country. But what they don't know is that when you act, even if it's small, it will create an impact. Because if 10 persons do small things, those small things will become a big things and create a change. I'm here to tell them that this country is not only the country of Lumumba, it's also their country. And they need to work to clean the environment, to clean their house for them to change that, this country and to have the, the development they are seeking in this country. We are in Congo. Yes. Okay. We are not living like animals. We have got authorities. 
right? Mm -hmm. I speak about the government. Yes. They are there for leading people. Mm -hmm. When someone is going aside, mm -hmm. you come, okay, you have to behave like this. Mm -hmm. A driver will have to behave like this. Yes. And so on. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Thus, the government has the part of responsibility because they are letting people like this. You mm -hmm. know, let me, give, let me give you an example. Last time I was inside of a bus, oh. I was going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we, 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 we have to get with a, a father. He mm -hmm. said to get him next to me. And that father bought a soft drink. Mm -hmm. Drinking, drinking. After that, he gave me the, the, the bottle mm -hmm. for throwing outside. Okay. Because I was next to the window. Wow. Okay? I said, Father, it's not my habit. I cannot, I cannot do it because I will destroy my country. This is the way of destroying the country. Good. And that father told me, who are you thinking about? It's you who is going to, to make progress this country. Can you see this kind of behavior mentality? Yeah. Then you're speaking about the state of mind. Yeah. And what can you say about it? And the most sad thing is that he's a father. He's not a youth. Yes. And this is the most sad part of the story. You know, I can't even imagine him throwing this plastic bottle outside. I'm imagining a father who is aimed to teach a generation of people. Yes. He have child, he have a family. What kind of example he's going to give to them? And this is the most sad part of the story. And uh, I need to congratulate you. Let me just congratulate you because you. most of people wouldn't have this courage to do that. Some, some, some other will say he's a father, maybe if I correct him, we are Bantus, mm -hmm. and if I correct him, he's going to say that I'm impolite. But no, you need to know that there is a limit, being impolite and having values. If you have your own values, you need to stay on your own values. Don't throw plastic bottles outside in the roads. Take it, recycle it, and create a job that will help you to nourish your family, because I know a man, I know someone who produce flowers, products using plastic bottle, and this man is today taking care of his family with this money. So I don't know for this father, but I really feel sad for him. Okay. And I can just uh, conclude on saying that today we can see that being youth is a state of mind, and this father I don't know what kind of age he got, or I don't know, but he's not youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's not youth anymore. Thank you very much. And the Thank government, you. this kind of person, you can see someone throwing like this. There is a policeman inside. There is the policeman there seeing the way that the, the one is behaving, mm -hmm. but he does nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. If this kind of person can be arrested, come here. You're a father, but you're behaving like a child. Come, we're going to show the way. Okay? This and after tomorrow, yeah. I think some other people will change directly by strength. Yes, mm -hmm. this is a... The government. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. This is a good way of, of thinking. And let me just, first of all, start with the government subject. Um, yes, you know, their responsibility. Because the role of the government is to manage the country. So they need to put policies that will make sure that the environment is clean, that the mentality of people is aimed to clean the environment. So um, I really hope that the government today will be more realistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, and to manage and to understand that without a clean environment, they can even, even themselves, they can't walk. If there is pollution, they can't walk. I'm seeing them going in forums, like climate change forums, na -na 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 -na. but the truth is that they need to walk. We need to see results in Kinshasa, in Congo. We need to see results. And uh, yes, you were don't, saying. Don't you see that the result is just for sharing the post? You know, you're going to add something about the government, the new government, okay? Yes. Before this new government, they were talking, discussing, you know, I have to take this part, you mm -hmm. know my part, you know, listen. It means they are there for, for them, from themselves, or for us people. Oh, this is even sad to, stay, to say about it, because today I was listening to a TV show, you know, watching the TV show, and one of the person just say, 
Is being a minister a responsibility or it's a joy? Because people, when they, they say you're a minister, they are festivity. But no, the truth is that being a minister is a responsibility. Because today, they need to understand that the situation in Congo and Kinshasa is terrible. The environment is very polluted. The governor is there, there is a provincial government, but the truth is that we are not even seeing the results. They are talking about uh, 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 music, they are talking about people brushing words, but no, this is re not, really, not really what people are waiting for. We are waiting for true solutions that would produce jobs. So yes, we need to say the truth, that the government are not working. They are not interested in the environment. Not what the really interests people is other things like energy, but the environment, innovation. Well, they yeah. don't care about it. Are you angry against the government? You know, maybe a little bit, but no. Let me just say no. Why? Because um, because you don't laugh anymore when you speak. You're so serious. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yes, because um, you know, I start with this goal since years ago. We have a strong experience. We have been in Ghana, we have been in Kenya, in Togo, we have been in different countries, and we are seeing what their government are doing for youth that work in the environment sectors, but here in Congo. You can even see the government is out, but um, I can even put my, my hand and say, the minister will not work with youth. And this is sad, this is sad, we really need, as People like handicapees, people, you know, different peoples are represented. But recycling trash, mm -hmm. people are not represented. People are not represented. Innovation. There are a lot of youth out there, they are creating things, producing things, but they are not represented. And this is sad. This is really sad. The government is doing nothing. But I really hope that uh, things are going to change with God's grace. We hope. Okay, and this behavior of celebrating feasting after having been named by the cup or by the president or the prime minister, you a minister, but you call all the family, you celebrate singing, dancing. It means you singing <laughs> because you're going to have much money, or you are there for the service of others. Yeah, this is the, the one when one, one sad things. It's a message, Mom. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's it's really sad okay. because when you are promoted, you become a minister, and the first things you see to do is to create a party, to invite your friends. You are giving a bad message to people. You are telling people how money gonna enter in your house, but not what programs are you going to manage to change people's life. And this is sad. This is really sad, but I really hope, I can just hope because you need to say the truth is that Congo is facing its first alternations. So we can't really say things will go wrong or things will go good, but we will be there to say the truth, to say when things are going to be okay and when things will not be okay. But for today, things are not okay anymore. Oh, so mom, you know, those politicians yes. are good speakers like you. Yes. Okay? They know how to impress people, how to attract people by speaking mm -hmm. like you. They've been like you. Coming on TV, speaking, okay? They mm -hmm. have good speech like you. And today, if they give you the post or if you have, okay, a certain responsibility in uh, the state, mm -hmm. how are you going to behave? What are, what, what are you going to do? First of all, I will call for a meeting. A meeting, uh, let me just ask you a question. As a Minister of the Environment of, or for the Innovation? It's my questions. Questions are for me. Okay, okay, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but let me just say something. First of all, I will call for a meeting. And I will ask for people who know something to propose ideas to propose ideas. And the difference with me and them is that me, I know the sectors. Most of people they put as ministers, they don't even know the sectors in which they, they are. They don't even know. They put, they, 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 they take some, someone who was maybe a youth leader in a political party, 
they put him minister, you know, of maybe, let me just say, human rights. What do you expect from him? He was in a political party. He don't know what being natural. He will work for the person who put him there, even if them person, those person are destroying human rights rules. And this is sad. So the difference with them is that me, I know what to do. I know the sector. And I have one thing they don't have. I listen. And my number is always open for suggestions. And all those propositions will come from people and work number? together. Can you give it? You no problem. Yes. OK, so I'm going to give the number of the go. You will call, and someone will take the call. And you can join me. 081-6456-980. Can you repeat again? 081-6456-980. OK, good. So let me tell you something, OK? Call for ideas. Call for proposing good things. <laughs> don't call for other things. OK? Don't disturb yeah. her. Don't bother her. She works too much. She's always taken busy, okay? Right. Mom, you were speaking about the meritocracy. They put yes. someone, okay, in, I mean, the place that it, it, it does merit, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You were speaking about the meritocracy. Mm -hmm. But why, I mean, uh, Congolese people or authorities placing people, choosing people who are not able to do things in correct way or in correct place? You know, this is a reflect of countries who doesn't want to develop themselves. I'm really sorry to say that. Um, they put people like my nephew, my cousin, because this guy have worked for me like five years and he have been faithful, even if you don't know how to speak French or English or even if you don't know uh, how to work. They take him because he's the cousin, because he's the daughter, because he's the son of a politician and this is sad because you know in this kind of situation um, those who are really suffering it's us people we are suffering this is why i'm telling you guys to promote a leader who will understand your vocabulary mm -hmm. who will know the price of a bread outside who will know how hard you guys are managing to pay in the hospital when your mother, when your father is sick. Promote a leader who can understand your pains, your fears. And this will be the difference when people, the population, will understand that promoting someone who is like them will be more successful than promoting someone who is the nephew, the son, the cousin of a politician. Well said. Thank you. I think you understood. And you put it into practice, right? She's also a mother, OK? I mean, this is, I, I, when she was speaking, I felt the heart of a mother. Thank okay? you. I felt it. Thank okay? you. You have to to put it in practice, into practice. Thank okay? you. Okay, mom, tell me. Yes. How do you work with your team? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. how do you work? Do you have a team? Yes. Okay, how do you work with them? Yeah, we have a lot of youth. We have like um, more than 15 youth. Yeah, we have a lot of team. And we also work like with people from, as I say, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, and different areas in Africa. Uh, you know, we work uh, with a lot of discipline. A lot of discipline. Uh, first of all, you need to know that it's an organization. So there's a secretary, there's a vice president, they are managers, they are the communication office. So yes, it's just like a normal organization. But the difference with us is that you will not see the son of, yes. the sister of. The meritocracy. Meritocracy. Okay. Yes. So I'm inviting you guys to come. If you want to be members of our goal, come, we're going to work together and we are going to create the development of Congo. But you've given your, your number, but don't you have an address? The place? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where is it located? Delvo. Ngadiema Delvo, uh, Lalu, Lalu Avenue. 
So when you were there, you can call and they can come to pick you up. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank I don't, you. I don't know if you have something to add because we almost at the end. Then, if you forgot something, mm. you have the time of speaking about it. Uh, first of all, I need to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Mr. Mike for accepting me here. He's doing a uh, great job to people. Uh, you can see my English, and I need to say, tell you the truth is that I even tell him that I want him to help me again to perform it. So you guys outside there, don't be so rude with me. Thank you so much to Up TV for accepting me here. And my message will go to youth. Let us stand up and work together to create the Congo we want. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. You know, today um, I am really a rich man. A rich man, not, not about money, but about knowledge, about ideas. Okay? Seeing a woman today in Congo, precisely in Kinshasa, working like this, we know. We know the way you're thinking. They're thinking about marriage. Once they get married, ma marriage, they forget all. Even if she's intelligent or she's got diplomas okay but saying my husband refuses i can never work i'm there for caring about children but i think it's not the case for you is it the case for you <laughs> How do not, you say for huh? not for now not for now maybe after but i will be true today what i want is the development of Congo. No, I say once you get married mm -hmm. and your husband says, Mom, enough is enough. Don't go to job. Don't work anymore. Care about my house. Care about my children. I don't really think that this will happen to me because I pray God to make the good choice. Also because I want to be a source of inspiration for my child. So I don't really think that will be that will happen. And for my husband, I think that it's important today for a woman to support his men. And yeah, I don't really think that that case will happen to me. Thank you very much. I say thanks for watching. Okay? Thank you. You've taken something like me. Today, you're rich, I'm rich about knowledge. I precise about knowledge, not about money. Okay? Because we need sharing ideas okay for helping our congo to progress going ahead going forward right i think we're going to meet next time god bless you it was really interesting today uh we meet next time stay tuned Conde, bye bye thank you we meet next time greet with greet them mom say bye 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 okay thank bye you. yes thank you. see you next It's good to have a friend, but it's a blessing to have a faithful friend. Jesus, you are the faithful friend I have in the intimate part of my heart. It's good to have a friend, but it's a blessing to have a faithful friend. Jesus, you are the faithful friend I have in the intimate part of my heart.